Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we're working on a multi-stack chiller and we're gonna be pulling the condenser strainers. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. And right now we have the chiller off. And we have two sides of the system. We have a uh, chilled water side, which is gonna be insulated. A supply and return on this end. And on this side that is not insulated is our condenser water. And we're gonna be starting off by closing off the valves. Over here, we actually have it closed. This one, you can see it's teed off. So one side is closed here. So that's one pipe and then the next pipe we have a valve here which is closed and we also have a second valve that we can close as well by closing this valve need some extra leverage so I'm taking this pipe all right so we're closed here Double check this one is closed all the way. Okay. Yep. Close. And now gonna make sure this one is closed. Alright. Could open up this vent. Help push the water and we open up this valve and now we are draining once the system is drained come over on this side which we actually broke the fitting here so it's draining as well we have a floor drain and the strainers are here along these tubes we're gonna pull this apart and get access to the strainers Back these bolts. Now we have it draining on this side as well. And once it's completely fully drained, we can just pull this out. And the strainers are all along here. We take a long rod, stick it in, and fish them out. Then we're gonna clean them. This valve is having an issue. Hopefully we can get it to fully drain or if not, as close as possible to not flooding this place. <laughs> oh, that's fine. We gotta break this union. Alright. Here are the strainers. The ones on the end are always the nastiest. Hold on, so I got this super long rod. I'm gonna stick it in as deep as I can. And I'm, and I'm gonna try to <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull it out. Let's see what I can get. Right there, we got something. We got a few of them. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> and we got all of them in one shot. That's great. Got a bunch of strainers. Load these in bags. I'm gonna go over to a different room where we can power wash them. Now we are pressure washing it. You don't have to take a wire brush and brush down. What this should do, repeat the process and then reinstall them back.
stuff these in. This side facing up. And once we got them all in, close it all up. Tighten down that union just by hand so we have it in position. Next, we can line this up. And this rubber gasket goes in between this ridge and this one. in place Victolic. yep Victolic coupling let's make it like straight how it was before yep yeah. try to get that started and then we can lock it down all right so this is all tight close down on this union Next, we can open up the water valves and make sure we don't have any leaks. Close down this drain valve. Next, we can open up the water. Start with this one. Just slowly crack it for now. Got a little bit of water coming out. I'm gonna open this one all the way. We gotta open up this valve. Expect for any leaks. All right, it's looking good. This was locked. It was closed, but that's good. Get that open. All right, it's looking good. All right, we're just gonna open this all the way now. that all the open that all the way and we are good that's it take both strainers on a multi-stack chiller if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time